great track, Fly Me to the Moon. Great track. We're going to do it in A minor. Um, no sharps, no flats. Call it C if you want. You can call it C. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I just don't. All right, um, so the um, uh, let's do both, just to um, keep it round and real. So the C scale, first I was starting the um, third fret of the A string for the C. So uh, all natural notes, three notes per string, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A, B, C to finish it. Very nice. Um, try it like this too. Start with your second finger on the, uh, on the third string. It's more of a classical way of executing the same scale. <clears throat> um, two notes on the A string, C to D. On the next string you'll have uh, E, F, and G. Uh, a, B, C, D on the third string, but there's a shift halfway through. We're going to go first finger to third finger on, um, on uh, A and B. First finger will shift to the third. I'm sorry, fifth fret on the third string for the C note to D, and from here to the end of the scale, we we remain in fifth position. So now we're going to have uh, um, E F G and A B and C on the next string. So there's the C scale represented a couple different ways. Um, the A minor scale, if you do three notes per string, looks like this. It's also called Aeolian. Uh, natural minor, Aeolian, one and the same. Always mess with your scales to keep it interesting. If you had to play it like this... Oh my god. You did it that way? Day in and day out? Good god. Good lord. I'd go out of my mind. Which is why I watch reruns of um, Dexter and Weeds, 30 Rock, while I'm practicing scales. I just can't take it. I can't. Um, on to the song. So, um, so the first chord we'll play, uh, half bar A minor, 7th fret of the D string. Here's our A minor chord, but we're going to bring the melody into this as well. While we maintain this A minor chord, we're going to have a fourth finger play C, a B, and then from there we're going to abandon the chord and just play A to G. Five to eight. Yeah. Um, from here, a D minor seven chord, but only as high as this F. So that first phrase. Like that. All right. From here, uh, G A C. To a G7 chord spelled this way. Most people know G7 like this. You're kind of like the Dylan, <coughs> John Lennon, folky sort of uh, G7 chord. Same notes, but um, G, D, F, and B. Five, seven, six, seven, starting on the D uh, on the D string. To a C major seven chord. So the that first um, the first phrase is this. straight, no bells and whistles, you know. Um, from here, we're going to take uh, an F major 7 chord spelled this way, 3, 5, 5, 5, bar all the notes in the 5th fret, 3rd finger or pinky, whatever's more comfortable. Right, from here, G, F, E, D. Now the D is part of a B minor 7 flat 5 chord, B half diminished. In such a way. Um, E, F, A. Execute that how you'd like. I like to slide it, kind of more uh, more of a lyrical sort of um, uh, way of representing that melody rather than picking each note. Which could, that's fine too, whatever. But I like sliding. Try bending. Don't bend. That's uh, it's not right. It's not right. To um, an E7 flat nine chord. Um, there's an F. There's a B. A D and a G sharp. I guess you can also call it F diminished. Um, one and the same. Um, and that's going to bring us back to an A minor 7 chord. So I guess you probably should call this chord E7 e, e flat 9, um, only because the 5 chord E 
uh, leads us to A minor 5 to 1 sort of chord resolution. Um, from here, uh, finger this next part with uh, your middle finger on, on E and your first finger on D. So we're going to have this melody developing here, uh, E, D, E, F. And then from that, from that F that's still sustaining, build that D minor 7 chord we had from before. To a G13, G, sorry, G, G7 flat 13. Like this, right? G, F, B, and a D sharp. <clears throat> so this chord here. Of tensions going on here. Um, I guess if you're relating it to uh, the C chord, you know, sharp five, flat nine, um, flat five, major seven. Beautiful and gross, you know. Um, and then from there, just to a C major seven chord. And so we're going. I guess you know the melody in this part is just supposed to sound like this. But I'm just harmonizing uh, that B with some really, really uh, bizarre tensions. A7. Uh, moved up in thirds, minor thirds. that I played at the end um, in the in the original demonstration bah, I can't talk today it's ridiculous I can't talk any day <laughs> I'm trying to kid alright uh, two E's to a C E F F sharp G A B C and then from here It's, um, we have some sort of C7 chord going on here. Root 5, flat 7, sharp 11, 13, and the third, the high E. Uh, it's, it's quite nice. So let's play the whole thing real slow. Here we go. Should be this. <laughs> Sorry. Indeed. One more time. <laughs> 